we're going to go through this problem in two different ways. So first of all, a bigger diagram is essential, I think, um, rather than trying to scribble all over this, this small diagram. Like draw, draw more than one if it helps. I'm doing that here. Now, my initial thoughts for this problem were to try to show that HMD, the angle was 180 degrees. And that's going to be my second method. It felt more intuitive, but it actually turns out to be a bit messier than the alternative way that I'm going to talk about. So the slightly less obvious way, but actually turns out to be easier, is to find angle H, uh, sorry, MHI and find angle DHI and show they are the same. All right, let's take a look at this then. So we've got um, a nonagon here. And so I'm going to find the angles inside. It's going to be the number of sides minus 2 times 180 divided by the number of sides. Nine, 180 divided by 9 is 20, so it's 140. So this whole angle is 140, this one up here is. For a hexagon, it's 120. You just, I just know that. It's worth knowing that. Uh, it's 4 times 180 divided by 6. So that is therefore 120, which means that this angle here is going to be 20 because it's 140 minus 120. All of this should be written down. Uh, if, if you're solving this in the Olympiad, I'm just sort of verbally explaining it here. Now, this is an isosceles triangle, which means that these two are the same. 180 minus 20 is 160. Divide by 2, each one of these is the same, is equal to 80 degrees. So MHI equals 80 degrees. Okay, nice. We just need to show that DHI is also equal to that. And the way to do this is to consider this whole shape. Let me try that again. Which is in fact a hexagon. And we've already shown that these are all 140. So I can do 720 for the hexagon minus four lots of this which is actually 4 times 140, or 2 times 280, or 560. And that gives 160. Now, I didn't actually talk about this before, I should have done. This hexagon has a line of symmetry down the middle, because you can just sort of see it's got these six sides, it just comes across, they're all the same, it must do. And therefore, this angle here is going to be 160 divided by 2, it's going to be 80. You could also get the 80 from here using the, it's just a bit less obvious. It's, it's more clear now that they are going to be equal. But yeah, both of these are equal to 80. And that is enough. Angle MHI equals angle DHI. So HM. and D lie on a straight line. No other explanation needed. Hopefully it makes sense. If we're going from D to H to I and we turn 80, and then we're going um, H to I and we turn 80, it must be that along the way from D to H, we pass through M. They must be on a straight line. Okay, nice approach to this problem. Right, now I'm going to explain it in the second way. I'm going to try and show that DMH is equal to 180 degrees. Like it, it must be. It's just whether it's as easy to achieve it. Um, D, there we go, this one here. Now, I'm actually going to use very similar lines of reasoning to before. I'm going to, I've, I've shown already that that is 80, so you'd have to get, you have to get that angle from the isosceles triangle and so on. And I've also shown that that is 80. So this is going to be my starting point for this second approach. Um, in fact, I'm going to add a few more on. I've got 140 here, 140 here. This is going to be 20, because remember, this was 120. This was 120, which means that this is going to be 240. And this one here is 240. So all of that 
reasoning needed. And now I'm going to focus on this shape. How many sides? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. This um, heptagon that I've created because I can actually now work out this angle here. Angle D. Uh, I haven't actually given this a point. Let me call it X. Angle D, X, K. Right, well, I know I, I'm going to add all the angles up, actually. So I've got 2 times 140 plus 2 times 240. And then I've got this 20 in the 80, so I've got 100. And that's going to be 280 plus 480 plus 100, which is 760, 860. For my heptagon, it's going to be 5 times 180, which is actually 900. So DXK is going to equal 900 minus 860, which is 40 degrees. Okay. Now, these are vertically opposite angles, so that is also 40 degrees. This is 120, so I've got 160, which means this is 20 here. And then, I hope I'm not going too fast, then this whole angle is 120, which means that this angle is 100, and then I've done it. Okay, I've got 80 and I've got 100, so therefore, angle H. M D or D M H, however you want to say it, is equal to 180. So H M D lie on a straight line. The two solution methods. I've got to say, if you if you figure out that top one that you can do this, this is easier. Uh, if you want to go my approach, there's a bit more going on. You can and hopefully those last steps made sense. Both both work, and we've managed to prove it anyway. Well done.